Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero! And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super space travel. Just imagine what I could do, traveling from planet to planet, solving problems and defeating space baddies. Ooh, and we could all form a space superhero team. We'd call it the Science Superheroes of the Solar System. We'd have a cool team logo and our headquarters would be on a space station and we could meet once a month for space pizza. Mmm, space pizza. Mm. Actually, I'm getting slightly ahead of myself. First, we need to figure out where I'm actually going. Hmm, and how I'll know when I get there. Now, if I was going on a long journey here on Earth, I would use my GPS system to help me find my way. However, that's not going to work in space as GPS systems work using satellites that orbit the Earth. However, once I leave Earth, I won't be able to use the Earth's satellites, so I will need a different way to figure out where I am and where I'm going. Let's have a think. When we look up at the night sky, we can see lots of stars. If we are lucky, we might even see a planet like Venus or Mars. If you look carefully, you might see that some of the stars look like they make patterns or shapes if we were to join them up. We call these patterns constellations. Because the Earth rotates, the constellations look like they were moving across the sky, and some might even appear and disappear through the year. Scientists called astronomers track the shape and position of constellations using telescopes. They can plot these to give us a map of space. Our ancestors used their own star maps to navigate on long journeys. And today, we are going to make a projector that can help us to identify different star constellations in the night sky. For this experiment, you will need some tape, scissors, a pencil, blue tack or plasticine, a push pin, an elastic band, three sheets of card. I've got some cereal box card here. Or well, you can also replace this two sheets with paper a phone or a tablet with a torch on it, and a ruler. To start, we are going to make the projector. So take your sheet of card or paper and roll it up from one corner to make a cone. Once you have your cone shape, tape it in place. Okay, next you're gonna snip across the bottom so it's flat, like so. And then you're gonna put little snips at the bottom narrow end here to make some tabs. And when you've got enough, you're going to fold those tabs outwards, like so. Now make sure that this narrow hole that you've made here is bigger than the diameter of your torch. Mine definitely is, so that's good. Now take your other end, your wider end, and use your scissors to cut off any pointy corners that stick out so that you end up with a nice circle. There we go, so you can see I've got a cone shape with my tabs on the bottom. We're going to use the torch on our smartphone or tablet, so we need to build a bracket. Cut a strip of card 10 centimeters long and 4 centimeters wide. This is just card from some food packaging that I got off a box. Okay, now mark a point 4 centimeters up from the end and draw a line horizontally across, like so. Next, lie the top of your phone or tablet so that one edge is against the line that you just drew. Now, draw another line against the front of your phone or tablet. And that's gonna give you the thickness of the top of your phone. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker so you can see. Next, take the blade of your scissors and we're gonna score. Remember, be very careful. You're gonna hold your ruler and you're gonna use one of the blades to score each of those lines, and this is gonna help it to fold more easily. Then we're gonna fold across those score marks, like so. It's gonna give you this sort of shape. And look, this is the shape of your bracket coming along nicely. We're going to need a hole for the torch to shine through. So set your bracket so that it is over your phone and nearly, but not quite, covering your torch. So there's my torch here. So I'm gonna say that this is where my, the middle of my torch is. 
Draw a horizontal line across from that torch position and mark the middle point. Now I know that this is four centimeters, so my middle point is going to be at two centimeters. So at this middle point, put some blue tack underneath the middle and then take your push pin and make a hole right in that middle point and wiggle it around a little bit. And that's going to help you for the next bit, which is to turn this into a hole. So use the blade of your scissors and push it in to that hole you just made with the push pin. There we go. And now be very careful. You're going to wiggle it around until you make a hole that is big enough that your torch light can shine through. You can now see that I've got a hole here. I'm going to use my scissors to trim and tidy up the ends. And so there you go. I now have a circle. Now, on the tab without the hole in it, you're going to attach the elastic band using a bit of tape. So I'm going to put my elastic band over here and I'm going to tape it down. Now take your projector and use the tabs that you made and line it up with the hole that you've made so that the holes line up and then stick it in place using the tabs to help you attach the tape. And then once it's attached, slip it over the phone lining the projector up with the torch. Then loop the elastic band around the phone so it's all nice and secure. Now because my elastic band is quite stretchy, I'm going to loop this around twice. And make sure it covers both sides of the card so it's covered here and it's covered here. And also look in the middle and make sure that it is over your torch. And I can see my torch right down there. Okay, now to test it's in the right place, why don't you turn your torch on and have a look. And I can definitely see that the torch is in the right place. So this is good. I'm going to put this to the side because now we need to make our star maps. So fold a piece of card or paper in half and draw around the big end of your projector to make a circle. Okay, now I have a circle here. I'm going to go around this circle, maybe one or two centimeters larger, to make a bigger circle, like so. Next, I'm going to draw a handle. You can have this any shape or size that you like. And then you're going to cut this shape out. Remember cutting two pieces of paper. There we go. Okay, so now I have two shapes that look the same. Now we're going to put a different constellation onto each one. So take a look in your superhero guide or go online to find a star chart that shows you a constellation that you want to explore. I've decided today to do Orion and Matariki. It's also known as Pleiades. You can print them out as I have or just copy them onto your slides by hand. So first, mark where you need each of the stars to go. So I'm going to start with Matariki or Pleiades and I can see, if I hold it up here, that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big stars. So I'm going to sketch those in and I'm going to write here Matariki so I remember. Now I want to turn these into holes. So underneath each one I'm going to put my blue tack and I'm going to put a pin hole in each of these, wiggling around for the bigger stars and keeping it as just a pinprick for the small ones. Now you can see that my pinprick is actually much smaller than the shape that I've made, so I'm going to use my pencil now to go into this pinprick and make it wider. So my medium stars are medium sized and my big stars have big holes. My little star has a little hole. There we go. So there's my Matariki. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do Orion. And it looks like this, so I'm going to trace it out. Two little ones at the top. One here, one here. And then I'm going to do the same with the blue tech and make some pinpricks. And these ones, as you can see, are much smaller than my Matariki stars. And again, just make them slightly bigger using a pencil. I'm going to label this Orion, so I remember. Now it's time for the moment of truth. And for this, I'm going to need the help of my small scale stargazer, Nano Nano Girl. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, I'm gonna need you to see if you can recognize this. I'm just gonna put you on the table here and I'm gonna turn on my torch. 
and I'm going to shine it at the wall over there. Okay, Nana Nana girl, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold a constellation up. I'm going to see if you can see a pattern. So hold it over there, let the light shine through. Can you see what it is, Nana Nana girl? What? She says it's a cookie. No, it's not a cookie, it's a constellation. She says that she can only see cookies. Oh, I think it might be way past her snack time. Okay, well, I hope that you have fun building your own star projector and learning about the science of astronomy. I'm gonna try this one, and then I better go get Nana Nana Girl her cookies. See you next time, bye.